Hi, thanks for watching another one of my videos on how to do the coin laundry business right and occasionally do the coin laundry business wrong. Um, today is Monday, August 20th. We are back in Arlington at EZ Wash and Dry. This is the beginning of week 19 of construction. At the start of these videos, I said we were going to try and knock it out in 12 weeks, but we've done um, several changes inside and it's kind of slowed down the process. We're hoping to have it open this Friday, but it probably looks more like next week. The floor is down, the water heaters are in card system, every, pretty much everything's ready to go. Uh, but we'll walk you around and I wanted to start on the outside on the back of the building. You don't get to look at that very much and show you what the vents and the electrical look like. A lot of electrical coming in. Both of those are three phase. They bring them in, drop them down to the main box and they go into the sub boxes. Um, really not all that. That's the awning that's gonna be put back up as soon as they get through in the front. All right, so what we've got here are the vents from the outside. The city makes us put a box around it for aesthetics. There's the fresh air. You wanna keep that higher up than the exhaust air. And you'll see there's several vents. There's some more and they're gonna finish wrapping this side and painting the building uh, these were dug out by the city when they put in the new gas line there's the gas service and we're gonna get that corrected now we'll walk around sprinkler system all the foliage is in for city requirements in the front so you can see that and then our guys are out here doing work All right, here's the big difference. People have been curious about the drains. Come straight out into the covering along the floor so the guys can service the equipment. You can stand on there and it's sectioned and it pops right out. You can see the floor is in, looks very nice. They've done a lot of work in the uh, water closets. Uh, ADA and non-ADA water fountain are in. And they still got the temporary electric, so there's the update, tile all the way up. They'll have the fan, the lights in there. They'll be on sensors. Um, electrical's done to the washers and to the dryers, but it hadn't been connected back. There's, of course, the uh, Electrolux 120 volt reversing dryers. Those are the 35 by 35 pound. And another row of washers, the 20 pounders over there. And most of this you've seen. Okay, the soap vending machine is up. They'll have the card reader added to it pretty soon. The build a bill breaker is installed since the last video. The uh, Diamond Center Plus has been added in. We've actually kind of recessed it in the wall so it wouldn't stick out as work. Of course, there's the two VTMs. And both water heaters are connected and ready to go. You can't see too much back here, but you've got the back, the uh, credit card acceptance, card dispense, and the uh, VTMs and the changer or bill breaker there. So there's real quick the guys putting together carts, some more of the washers. Those are all the 200 G-Force high-speed extract washers. Back here, cavities made, had been uh, had made for wash, dry, and fold. Tables and chairs were all stacked up. I can't get back into the electrical room. So there you see it. If you have any questions or comments, please give me a call. This is the beginning of week 19. I look forward to hearing from you. And, uh, hopefully we will get open this weekend. If not, we should be getting the uh, final one of these done the week after. Thanks.